Hello and welcome. So you have an MP4 file and you need to convert it to WebM for whatever reason, probably for a website, right? No problem. Just get this free tool, WebM Converter, go to the website, go to releases, I will link to that page directly. Download the thing with a .zip at the end, WebM Converter. And here it goes. Once it is done, just click Show in Folder. And then in this folder, right click the zip file and extract it. And just extract it. Then make sure that you can tell the difference between a zip file and a folder. The zip file is the one with the zip and v.zip at the end if you enabled view options, view and disabled hide extensions for our known file types, which I highly recommend that you disable that. Anyways, go inside the folder and there you will find the WebM converter. Just double click it, accept it and here you go. You can put which file to put in. Let's select Browse for this, and I'm just going to select the file. And it will automatically determine what the output file will be. In this case, just the same file name with WebM at the end. And there's nothing else to do besides pressing Convert. Here we get some output information and a progress. Well, not a progress bar, but progress. We can see how many seconds have been converted, how many frames have been converted, how many frames per second are being converted, and to really be able to tell how long it will take, you will have to know how long your video is. This one is uh, 15 seconds. We are at 6 seconds, so it's probably going to take 30 more seconds. But anyways, once this is done, you will have a WebM video right here. It's already growing in size, but uh, not quite done yet. And then you will have the whole video converted to the WebM format. I believe using the VP8 video codec, but perhaps you don't want to convert the whole video. Perhaps what you actually want is to edit it, to cut it uh, slightly. In which case, I'm going to show you an alternative variant of doing this. But uh, for now, this is done. Let's just close and close and check out the result. So this is a problem. The audio has not been converted. So let's try this again. Let's pick the mp4, let's give this a different file name. Oh, and I just realized what this is for. Anyways, uh, use this uh, checkbox so that there is audio. And how about high quality mode? Let's do this. Alright, just press convert. And the waiting begins again. Now what is cool about this app, it actually allows you to enter the start and end trim time. So you can kind of edit your video here, but it's not visual. You just have to know what exact seconds uh, to cut at the beginning and at the end. You can set a file size limit, which will greatly reduce the quality in case uh, the limit is very small. You can even change the resolution. Anyways, we're done here. So let's get out of here and just try out the new output. And it has audio. All right. So the alternative version is to use a video editor, uh, Shotcut for example, it's free to download, uh, link is in the description of this video. Once you have it running, just drag in your video, enable the timeline and drag the video to the timeline. And if you want to cut it, just use this bar at the top with the time indexes. And for example here, I move the camera, so I want to cut it off here. So I'm going to press the S key on the keyboard, or this button over here, to split. Going to left click this and then right click and remove. And just for kicks, let's cut off something at the beginning and remove again. So now I'm just going to export this part. We can also resize using this slider at the edge of a clip. Now to export, just press export. We're going to hide the toolbar and the timeline to make more room. Timeline gone. Toolbar is gone. And to get the WebM format, just scroll down until you get WebM. And here you can also change resolution, change frame rate if you want for some reason. Change uh, bitrate if you need it to be smaller, but all you really got to do now is press export. Down here is a button. Down here is a button. Just going to press it and call it new looking and make sure to add .webm at the end. All right, then you get this jobs panel open. You can close the export thing and just wait for this to complete. And once this is done and you can see this file here growing slowly, once this is done, you can use it for whatever you need to use it. Here it is. Let's start it. Alright, great. And just one more hint for the WebM 
converter. You can uh, increase the thread count, probably four if you have quad core, to make it much faster. Apparently Shotcut does it automatically. Anyways, I hope this helped. Please subscribe to support this channel and have fun converting your videos. Ciao!